As Kabuto Kai continues his search, he can sense the immense power of Super Saiyan 5 Gohan, alerting him to the seriousness of his battle. While concerned, he puts his focus back on the task at hand, get the Dragon Balls, save Goku and Pan. The boys look on towards the fight, ready to see what this new form is all about. <laughs> oh, well maybe I'll have to get serious after all. This is gonna be fun. Witnessing the mind-breaking speed and power of Super Saiyan 5, the others comment on Gohan's overwhelming ability, already thinking they've won, but Old Kai tells him not to get too excited. The dust clears and just as he fears, the dragon is alive and well. <laughs> that was the best! This is the power I've been waiting for! Hmm. After proving to be a match, he tells Gohan he's finally ready to show his true power as well. What? Now then, let this be our final battle! Trunks and Goten cheer on as it appears Gohan has this under control. I'm shocked! I can't believe how powerful you are! It seems that even at my full strength, I am no match for you! Continuing their boyish arrogance, Goten and Trunks declare victory once again, but Old Kai again says the fight is not over, prompting Trunks to ask what he means, and the old Kaioshin just says he has a bad feeling about this. Huh? That's when Gohan begins to writhe in pain. The dragon looks on in confusion as the boys also notice something is wrong. Well, what's happening? Looks like the stress on Gohan's body was too much as he returns to normal. The others begin to panic as they try to think of a plan. There's no way Gohan even stays a chance without Super Saiyan 5. Huh, to think it would end like this. To be honest, I'm disappointed. I wouldn't even mind if you had killed me in your previous form. How lame. But now, you're totally boring without that transformation. I guess I'll just finish you. Gohan calculates that he was only transformed about five minutes, and it was probably the damage he incurred earlier that caused the drop in time. Old Kai comes to the same conclusion. Trunks requests that he take him to Gohan immediately, but the Kaioshin has his reservations about this. Even if they all ganged up on him, it's highly doubtful they'd be able to do anything, telling him they'll be throwing away their lives for nothing. Reasoning, if they do nothing, Gohan's gonna die. Old Kai tells Trunks that the best they can do is have Kabuto Kai teleport Vegeta there to assist. Which is when he finds the last evil dragon. However, this comes at the worst possible time. As the powerful key catches the prince's attention, he says aloud, It seems the last one has arrived. This time I hope it's a worthy opponent. While this dragon is smaller and even looks older than the rest, we all know how looks can deceive. He asks Vegeta if he's the one who summoned him here, who spits at the realization that his opponent is such an old man. Laughing this off, the Shadow Dragon says he doesn't like such assertion. Getting the question out of the way, this one was born when Goku was restored to life. Using Vegeta logic, he rations that this makes he and Kakarot like brothers. Now, it'll be much easier to beat up a geezer. Don't worry, this will be over soon. Further laughing at Vegeta's impatience, the Dragon says that this will make good practice. Rejoining the others, Old Kai tells Kabuto Kai to hurry up and bring Vegeta to Gohan. In disbelief, he says, What? You've got to be kidding! I just brought the last evil dragon to him! As everyone collectively realizes there's nothing that can be done, Old Kai tells the boys to ready up, as they are Gohan's only hope now. <laughs> uh, father? Father? While incurring the beating of a lifetime, Gohan thinks to himself that when his father would face overwhelmingly powerful enemies, he would never give up. And as a result, he saved the Earth countless times, further wondering what Goku would do in a situation like this, and why he was always able to stand back up and never give in. How can I beat this guy? How can I save Pan and the Earth? Well, I've had enough fun. 
Time to die. Just then, Gohan begins to laugh. Hmm? What's wrong with you? Got nuts or something? But quite the opposite. Gohan tells him that he finally understands how his father must have felt several times over. The dragon curiously asks what he's talking about. I understand how to beat you. What? The answer is simple. I just have to risk it all, including my life. Exploding with his remaining energy, Gohan returns to Super Saiyan 5. Uh. Gohan plows through the evil dragon. As he peacefully returns to his normal state, he lies motionless with a smile on his face. On Earth, Videl can be seen with a stoic look. Getting Chi Chi's attention, she asks her what's wrong, who says it's nothing, just a bad feeling. Almost tooting her own horn, Chi Chi assures her that Gohan is the son of Goku, he'll be fine which Videl goes along with, but obviously can't shake the feeling. The others arrive too late, finding Gohan on the ground. They rush over to him as Kabuto Kai tells the others to give him some space as he tries to revive him, but it's too late. The attack took too much out of him. Gohan has perished. While the others curse their own faults, the One Star Ball appears, and... Well, we're in another mess. With the death of Gohan, we may be doomed to the fight to come. Saguro points out for old Kai to turn around, Goku is fully awake and alert, asking if it's really him. Goku apologizes for the wait, but thanks to all of them, he's finally returned. As Old Kai goes to explain the situation, Goku cuts him off saying he's already aware of everything. He heard it all while dreaming, then tells the Kai to leave the rest to him. Gohan lost his life in the battle with the powerful Li Xing Long, and just as everyone prepared for the worst, Goku has finally awakened from his long slumber. Now, having been out of commission for so long, Will Goku be able to pull off a miracle once again?